So cortisol production, we talked about it already. The hormone of survival, it's critical. You cannot live without your adrenal glands. You cannot. If they're not working, you need pharmaceutical support whenever you get in a stressful situation. And what's it do? It's used to mobilize, and this is very important. I'm going to key on this a number of times. And I shamelessly stole that stress score. I stole it from a book called The Cortisol Collection or Connection, which I don't have today because I just read it recently preparing for this and it's really good. And I partly stole it from this book called Adrenal Fatigue. The fellow that wrote this book, James Wilson, is the man who coined the term adrenal fatigue. Please do me a favor. Don't go to your family doctor and tell them you've got adrenal fatigue because they are not going to agree with you. They are not going to have a momentary revelation. They are going to say it doesn't exist. It's not there. Forget about it. I hope to convince you otherwise. So anyways, we need cortisol. We need it to there's the tiger, I've got to run because fighting's no good, but if it was a guy I needed to fight in the back alley, that'd be fine, okay. So, right away, cortisol breaks down short, stored sugar in the liver. It releases fatty acids from the fat cells, and it breaks down muscle to get immediate stores of energy, because those amino acids can be turned into sugar, and sugar in the body is energy. It all comes down or much of it comes down to sugar, and in the short term, it's all sugar. You need sugar. So the body will temporarily, in a stressful situation, break itself down in order to get through that acute stress. The other thing is cortisol is not a one-way street. Remember I showed you way back at the start how everything started with cholesterol, and then it went down to pregnenolone, and pregnenolone went from either, either to cortisol or DHEA, and then down to the sex hormones. If you are stressed all the time, you need more cortisol. That means you're going to divert pregnenolone towards cortisol production and away from DHEA, which is going to lead to low testosterone. And remember that anabolic, catabolic da balance? What are we doing with stress? We are worsening the anabolic, catabolic balance. Saw a guy, amazing guy in Mexico. He was so amazing, my wife had to go up and ask him. I mean, he, he looked a little older than his stated age. I would have guessed he was 62 or 63. He was only 56. But he had the body of a 30-year-old. So we went up and asked, because my wife will ask anyone anything, and we, we went up and asked, how do you stay in such great shape? He runs every day, he lifts weights, he does no hormones whatsoever. He looks older than he should because he's not using any hormones, but he is, he is reducing his cortisol and keeping his anabolic balance good by his physical exercise on a regular basis. And, it was, and he was truly remarkable. And there are pictures of people that in their 80s look better than in their 30s. It is possible. It is never too late to change things, ever. With chronic stress, cortisol remains high and it leads to body breakdown. 